Welcome to this ARPOS training video. In this video, we will review the registered receipt email in detail and show you how to verify that registered receipt in the event there's a dispute involving the message sent. To begin, it's important to identify what types of disputes may arise involving an email. For example, the dispute involving the delivery is a common dispute involving email. For example, the recipient may say, I never got the email or you never sent that to me. They may challenge the, the content of the message. You know, that's not what we agreed to. Or this is what I got, and they'll print an altered copy of the message. Now most companies, what they do is they rely on their archive or their server logs to resolve the disputes involving a message sent. However, those are not foolproof. For example, how do you resolve a dispute when the receiver challenges your archive. For example, they may say, yeah, the message is in your archive. That's not what you sent me. Or you must have changed it before you dragged it into your file system. Or simply your file system doesn't prove it was sent. I never got it. Now the server logs also can be very easily challenged by the receiver asking the sender to verify the authenticity of those server logs and associate them with the content that they claim to have sent. The ARPOS registered receipt email is very different than a traditional Outlook read receipt or other type of novelty service. For example, the ARPOS registered receipt email is returned to the sender 100% of the time within two hours or less of sending. It contains the proof of delivery content and time and can be authenticated or verified to prove its contents. This is very different than an Outlook read receipt or other type of novelty service that doesn't prove content, cannot be authenticated or verified, and is not returned to the sender every time. Here is an example of a registered receipt email. What we will do now is walk you through the different components of the receipt and then verify it to show you how to prove the delivery, the content, and the time of the message. Starting at the bottom, you will see the delivery audit trail. This is a statement of fact to the delivery, the exact pathway the message took across the internet to get to the recipient's system. ARPOS translates this information so the sender knows what happened, and this is called the delivery status. ARPOS gives you one of four levels of delivery. There's delivered and opened, delivered to mailbox, delivered to mail server, all as being legally delivered to the recipient. The fourth option is delivery failure, and that would be, of course, the receiver's system may be down, could be a bad address, uh, the mailbox may be full. So our post will give you, again, one of four levels of delivery. It has some details and all of the times linked to the atomic clock. There's delivered UTC, which is the Greenwich Mean Time Less Daylight Savings, and then delivered local, which is the local time of the sender. Below that, you see the message envelope. It has some other information, including the from, the subject, who it was sent to, network ID, and the time it was received by our post. Below that, you have the message statistics, a unique message ID corresponding to the message transmitted, the message size in bytes, some additional notes possibly, and of course, the file that was sent. Now at the top of the receipt, you will notice there are two attachments. There is the delivery receipt.xml, which when you open it up, gives you all of the details of the receipt in XML for more of a real-time way to automate the delivery information for process enhancement. You will also see another file called htmlreceipt.htm. When you open that up, you will notice that the register receipt email opens up in your default browser. There are two reasons for this. The first is some people receive the registered receipt email in plain text or on a mobile device where it's difficult to read or view. 
So we want to make sure that they can view the message in their browser. The second reason is because our post proves delivery content and time without storing a copy of the message or attachments embedded inside of the receipt when you view the source is all of the data in green text here, all of the data digitally signed of the message. The data of the email, the data of the attachments, the audit trail, the digital fingerprints, and the hashes. It's all stored, embedded, and digitally signed in the registered receipt email so that the sender stores this information and not our post. Now, what happens if somebody challenges the message that you sent? Maybe they say they didn't get it, dispute the content of the message, challenge your archive or your server logs. What do you do next? Well, with this registered receipt, you are protected. The first step is to locate the receipt associated with the dispute that you're having. The second step is to send the disputing party the registered receipt so they can view it or they can send it to their IT department to evaluate. And the third step would be to authenticate the receipt by following the instructions in red. To authenticate this receipt, forward this email with its attachments to verify at rpost.net. So let's get started. I press forward, I send it to verify at rpost.net, and I press send. Within seconds of receiving the registered receipt email for processing and authentication, the ARPO system unlocks the data embedded in the receipt, verifies that the information is authentic and hasn't been altered or tampered with using cryptography, and then sends back to the submitter the email called a receipt authentication. The receipt authentication contains in it all of the data of the transaction and the delivery and also reconstructs from the data in the receipt the original audit trail showing the pathway of the email across the internet. It shows you the original email sent proving the content of the message including attachments and associates that very specific delivery information with that exact content. So if somebody says, well, you know, you sent me a lot of emails that day, I don't remember which was which, you can prove exactly which email was associated with which delivery information. This concludes our video on the registered receipt and the receipt authentication process. For more information on our post or the registered email service and features, please visit us at rpost.com or send an email to support at rpost.com.